So Kim, you had this really interesting tip that I'm like, what, why would you do that? As you said, in a Google Jam, so Jam is Google's whiteboard, right? We can write on it, we can collaborate, we can add sticky notes, we can add background images and do these different things. And, and your tip was to make a text box on the frame, which some people might say the page or the slide, even the technical word is frame, right? So yes. we're in a jam, I have stuff on the jam, and then you said to put a text box, but you want the text box to be big so it covers the whole frame. Exactly. Why can I do that? So that anything that you had on the frame would be locked in place and wouldn't be accidentally moved. So the text box would be like an overlay on top of everything. So, you know, I, I was thinking this tip is really for before they allowed you to create your own custom, create a custom background and it's locked down on the frame of a jam. But you're like, no. So I've created a sample. Tell me if I am in the ballpark here. So what you'll see here once it starts is that I have a jam. I have these sticky notes that I've added to the jam. And when I try to move the sticky note, you notice the sticky note is not moving, but rather this bizarre rectangle, right? Exactly. It's not a text box. I did this where I went to a Google drawing and I made a big rectangle. It's actually, um, yeah, it's a big rectangle with a clear background. I use transparent background, which is what a um, Google Drawing defaults to. And I downloaded that so that when I uploaded it, it goes over top of the sticky note so that whatever elements I have behind it don't get moved. And on this next frame, I put in a graphic organizer uh, background, and then I also added this sticky note, but then I put this text box, like you said, over top of it so that if I try to move the things on the page, actually I'm just kind of moving this text box. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm, let me try this again. So you were saying use a text box. So I'm going to just add a sticky note here. Here is my sticky note. And it's important to note that you have to put the either the text box last or to reorder it so that, because like when I'm on this sticky note, it would give me the order for option, the option for order if I had multiple things on here. So I've got a sticky note. I don't want them to be able to move it around. So then I create a text box. Does it matter what kind of text box? No, it doesn't matter. You just have to resize it. Okay, so I'm just gonna resize this text box so that it covers over top of the sticky note. So then it's, I can't get to the sticky note because it's behind. Now, that's fine, but I thought it was better with the Google Drawing. I, I mean, am I wrong? The text box is a little awkward to, to create. Now, the, the, the bonus to the text box is I can make it right here in the jam. I don't have to go get another resource. So if I'm adding a sticky note here, I'm just going to go to my image and I'm going to drag my image. Now this image is a rectangle, but it is clear. This is a little easier to resize so that it covers the entire frame. You can see it was a little bit quicker. If I go to drawings.google.com, you see the default is that it's transparent. That's what all those little checkers mean. So all I have to do, I'm gonna name this blank. File, download. Now it's real important. If you download a JPEG, it is not transparent. JPEG does not support transparency. So I have to actually download it as PNG. So when I download this Google Drawing that I've done absolutely nothing to, it is blank. So here in my jam, I get whatever I'm gonna put on the frame, I go to the add image, and actually down here at the bottom, I can drag from the downloads bar, and I can just add in, it's, it's a clear rectangle, and I just have to resize it to cover the whole frame, and that accomplishes the same thing. Yeah? Yes, it does. Yeah. Right. Just checking. 